in all I'm left with is all breeze. Hello and welcome to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons. And uh, Daniel Marshall is a gentleman who makes exquisite humidors. Uh, his pieces have been uh, bought by presidents, celebrities, um, museums, designers. He's done work for Dunhill and Pierre Cardin and uh, countless a uh, number of pieces, not just humidors, but clocks and other pieces of wooden art. Uh, celebrities, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a huge, huge customer of his. Uh, Sylvester Stallone, Brad Pitt, uh, Al Pacino, uh, just about any luminary of this day and age who is a cigar smoker. Uh, has uh, contracted Daniel Marshall to build a humidor for them. And he's been doing this for over 30 years now. Started in the 1980s. But in the 1990s, he also started to produce cigars. Uh, he, right now, I think, if I'm, if I'm correct, he has four blends out, uh, red label, black label, white label, and a gold cigar that is actually wrapped in gold leaf. Quite incredible. You can actually just light it, cut it, light it, smoke it, smoke the gold leaf burns right along with the cigar. Leaves you a gold filled ash. Uh, it's pretty uh, clever, incredible thing, but that is not what I'm smoking here tonight. They are $250 a piece, slightly over my single cigar budget. What I am going to smoke tonight is the Red Label by Daniel Marshall. This is a Nicaraguan Puro. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is the 6x60 Gordo. Quite large. Thick. Weighs about 16 pounds. And uh, it has a Nicaraguan Habano Colorado wrapper. The Colorado meaning that's a reddish brown hue, which you can see here. There, there are practically no veins in the cigar, and the seams are, are pretty much invisible. It's just amazingly beautiful. Uh, has a binder from Esteli, I believe, and the fillers are from Jalapa, if I have that correct. Now, these are made at the Nestor Placentia factory, Nicaragua. Uh, the black label, the white label are Dominicans and they are made in the factory where Manuel Quesada makes his cigars. And Daniel Marshall has had a relationship with these two gentlemen for some time now. The gold one, I'm not quite sure. I have to read up on that a little bit. I'm not quite sure where that one's made. However, uh, if you have a few minutes, go to Daniel Marshall's website, danielmarshall.com. Incredible. Read the uh, about page and you can see his extremely long and impressive list of clients and the projects he's done and just how he's progressed through the years uh, with the humidors and the other things he makes and cigars as well. It's very interesting. Uh, and you get a good description of each of the cigars on that website as well. This guy I got from cigar.com, not cigars.com, cigar singular.com. 
which is the notch up echelon of Cigars International. And I believe Cigars International has these also, but I don't think you can get singles there. This was like $8.60 $8 or something like that. They have uh, several sizes. There's a Churchill, there's Panatella, there's, uh, or, uh, I'm sorry, Lancero, uh, Gordo, there is a Corona, I believe. There might be one other size too. But they're all around high seven, high seven something to eight something a piece if you want to buy singles. I think I got the uh, Lancero, I think is the other size I picked. I, I got two to treat myself for holidays. So I figured this is the first time I smoked one of these. I've been looking forward to it for a while. And the whole reason this all came about was because when I went on Cigar Aficionado to look at the uh, top 25 picks for 2016, uh, I was looking, you know, where going to different sites and seeing where I could pick up as many of them as possible, because that's just something I do. I'm sure a lot of cigar buyers do that because when you go to a lot of these websites, a lot of these cigars are out of stock. And... Uh, but anyway, when I went to Cigar.com, they had a little pop-up ad on there for a contest to win a Daniel Marshall uh, chest humidor. It's beautiful, and it's filled with these Daniel Mar Marshall red cigars. It's like a $2,000 value. I think the humidor is like $900, it's like $1,000 for the, for the humidor, and it's filled with cigars. Now, his cigars, his humidors mostly hold, they, they start at like, I think the smallest one, except for like a, a little travel job. I think the smaller ones are like, hold like 75. They hold like anywhere from 75 to like 200 cigars. So they're, they're pretty sizable. But anyway, it was, coincidentally, it was the last day of this contest. So I quick put my email in there and, entered the contest and I figured yeah you know what if they're advertising them on here to, for this contest they probably sell a cigar so I looked and I found these so la, 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 la. long story short here we go Daniel Marshall red label uh, let's get started uh, my new cutter from my buddy Jim I see you very cool I'm not used to it though. I'm used to the uh, two finger guillotine job I've been using for a while. So I have to uh, be careful here. Yeah, beautiful. Nice. All right, so I rambled on there for about 20 minutes. You're either asleep or you left to look at something else probably by now. Hopefully you come back and fast forward through and actually see how this turns out because I'm pretty excited to see how it turns out myself I'm very excited about smoking one of these for a while I just I always thought because the humidors are so expensive I never even bothered to look at the cigars I thought they'd be like excruciatingly high priced but they're not his whole deal is to try to make a quality smoke at an affordable price and uh, based on uh, the ingredients and how almost every one of these was sold out must be pretty good. Ooh. Mm. Blast of rich, sweet sort of nutty flavor on the first puff there very nice I love that aromatic sweetness uh, 
I'm not sure if it comes from the wrapper or if it's one of the filler leaves. It's reminiscent of, uh, I smoke a lot of Caldwell cigars. Uh, they have that same kind of, that's the reason I like them. They have that same sweetness. Uh, it's very rich earthy kind of a sweet undertone. I love that flavor. Have some earthiness, some sweetness, a little bit of nutty flavor. Have a very light cinnamon type of baking spice on the on the tail end there. Mm. Nice. Yeah, definitely a cinnamon on the finish. Uh, there's even a little bit of a cinnamon kind of floating through with that sweetness on the draw. It has a fairly easy draw, not too easy, which is good. And it, like I said, it has a lot of weight to it. And it, it feels like it's pretty well rolled. Uh, there's a little soft spot there I'm a little concerned about. But other than that, that's about the only one. There's one little soft spot there, so we'll see what happens when we get to that point. But, it's my story and I'm sticking to it. Sweet, earthy, a little bit of cinnamon spice on the finish for the start. Daniel Marshall Red, going to hit the first third. Be back shortly. Welcome back to the scar area with the Daniel Marshall Red Label. tasty cigar uh, I got about three quarters of an inch of ash on there it's a nice gray and white a little bit of wave to the burn there but nothing bad uh, I would have had more ash than this on but I bumped it it was about a quarter of an inch on there when I went to pick it up I bumped it on the edge of the ashtray and it knocked it off so uh, now that's saying that if it would have held on it it's a little bit uh, soft at the tip there so I have a feeling it's probably it's probably good for about an inch and then it will probably fall off uh, these cigars I wanted to mention this earlier uh, the tobaccos that they use for these are already aged five years before production and then once the cigars are rolled and boxed they are stored for another full year at least before they're released so uh, there's a good amount of aging or resting involved in these and you can taste it in the quality it, it, it's just a very a very rich quality tasting smoke uh, flavors had a bit of a continuation from those first couple puffs that sweetness like a dark honey molasses type sweetness underlying has that cinnamon note on and off through there and then it still has a cinnamon uh, touch on the finish but it has a has a nutty quality to it and as I've gotten up toward the uh, you know, an inch or so in here, pardon me, uh, I'm getting some uh, dry cocoa uh, flavor coming in there too. So it's, it's starting to take on a little bit of chocolatey flavor. Nutty, rich, little earthy, cinnamon, and sweet. Uh, this is not, this is a medium medium to upper range medium maybe as far as strength goes 
Uh, it's not a ultra spicy cigar. There are no heroes in here. It's not a peppery uh, Nicaraguan, but it does have a lot of the other uh, characteristics of uh, Nicaraguan tobacco. That that sweetness, that earthy, little bit of a uh, baking spice flavor and the chocolatey flavor that's, that's started to show up a bit. Yeah, the chocolate cocoa seems to be getting more pronounced as I get further in. Uh, I've already been smoking this for a half hour, so I've kind of been taking it easy. I'm, I'm <laughs> wrapping Christmas presents in between here, multitasking. And, uh, you know, I've been, I've been wrapping Christmas presents for my wife for, for 30 years. Uh, 28 of those years we've been married, two years before we got married. I'm, I'm pretty good at wrapping gifts. But, <laughs> it's funny how sometimes the, uh, you get what you pay for when it comes to wrapping paper, okay? Go to the dollar store, get lots of neat Star Wars and Batman paper and stuff I like to use. You know, the fun holiday stuff. Dollar a roll. It's uh, it's very delicate, very thin. Very. You know when you take the scissors, you know, and you're really good at, you know, you, you lay the paper out and you have your line there and you get the scissors and you get that streak going where you just whoop, zip right across there like it's a razor. Yeah. Trust me, when you use dollar store paper, that technique doesn't always work. You get about halfway across, and all of a sudden... <laughs> so, I've uh, been fighting off the temporary frustration here and enjoying the cigar while I'm doing this. <laughs> But, I only have two more boxes to wrap and I'm finished. So, I'm going to do that while I enjoy the second portion of the cigar. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really digressed here today. But, uh, <laughs> I am enjoying this quite a bit. And, uh, quite tasty. So right now we're looking at chocolate, cocoa. Not chocolate, milk chocolate. It's more like a dry cocoa flavor. Nutty. Some cinnamon in there. That sweet kind of molasses. Kind of sweetness that I like. And uh, and a good rich cigar like this. Makes it very pleasant. So, I'm going to hit the second portion. See what develops. I'll be back shortly. And I'll be finished my wrapping by the time I see you again. Look, Batman, I've been eyeing up this cigar for a while. Sorry, it's mine. Welcome back to the cigar area with the Daniel Marshall Red. Batman has been eyeing up my cigar. just wanted to show this to you. I've Put these up before. Uh, some original artworks from my West Coast brother, Julian Ochoa. Uh, he did these for me, this Batman. It's absolutely awesome. And he did this. Wolverine for my wife. He 
he has a really unique painting style. Right now he's uh, he's doing some film work out on the left coast with the uh, <laughs> the original stars and crew of Scarface, and uh, <laughs> he's an incredible guy. He's just uh, I love him. I love him to death, and uh, I just I have these pictures up here, and I, every time I come up here, I just I just love them. I love them. They're some of my prized possessions. And uh, if you're interested in having Julian uh, do a picture for you, do a painting, superheroes, he's great. He's great at it. He can paint anything. But uh, just send me a email at the cigar area uh, at gmail.com the cigar area at gmail.com and I can put you in touch with Julian great guy great painter and Batman has been eyeing up the cigar because it, it was uh, given a 90 rating by cigar aficionado and a 91 by cigar journal and for good reason. Very, very tasty. Uh, still have a little wavy burn there. It's not. <clears throat> took a little bit of a dip there. That soft spot I was worried about. That's that's when it happened. Kind of took a dive there. I haven't done anything to it though. I'm hoping it straightens out. The second portion is a bit spicier than the, than the uh, the first though. The other flavors, pretty much all still there. That sweet earthiness, nuttiness, cocoa undertones in there, the cinnamon, but there's a touch of black pepper on the finish now. Uh, kicked it up a bit, <clears throat> about a notch in, in strength, but it's still not, it's not overpowering, still medium. Maybe a higher range medium at this point. But uh, I like that. I like that. I like spicy, strong cigars. So I like that black pepper flavor creeping in there a little bit. This thing is... It's very... Uh, it's a full-bodied flavor with a medium strength. It's very well balanced. <clears throat> And it's very uh, pleasant to smoke. It's very rich, very satisfying flavors. Uh, I, if you saw my last video for uh, the uh, Cayenne, the Renge, that was a 60 gauge also. And I mentioned in that video that I, I shy away from 60s in a lot of cigars because they they sometimes develop burn problems. Uh, that Cayenne was practically perfect the whole way through. Uh, this seems like it's actually straightening out a little bit as I flat my jaws here. But... I bought this in two different sizes to specifically compare the fat ring gauge with the Lancero, which is a 40 something, I think. I don't remember offhand what it is. But uh, the ash, as I said, um, fell off after about a clean inch. And I can see this one's probably going to do the same thing in a, in a few minutes. But, as I said, still has in the second portion here, still has the same flavors as in the first. But, 
uh, the finish kicked up a notch a, a bit with a black pepper flavor. It's very nice, smooth, lots of good smoke. Mm, nice. Finished my Christmas wrapping during the break there. I'm all done. Raise your hand if you get annoyed when you find wrapping paper that doesn't have that nice graph paper look on the back side of it. The past few years, almost all wrapping paper, you flip it over and has a nice graph paper look to it so you can cut right along the lines. Well, the last roll I picked up did not have that. And it's also quite thin. So my zip across the uh, line, that style didn't work. So, had some cutting problems with that last one, but that was my last package and I'm done. I saw some hands go up there. That graph paper feature is a nice thing on wrapping paper. Whoever thought that up deserves a pat on the back. But, anyway, going to work into the final third here with the Daniel Marshall Red Label, Nicaraguan Puro. Be back in a minute. All right, welcome back to the cigar area with the Daniel Marshall Red Label. Uh, you can see that burn straightened itself self out fairly well. There's still a little bit of a curve in it, but no big deal. The ashes held on for about an inch, and then it just falls clean off. Um, this final third kind of reverted back to the flavors of the first third, only more pronounced. It's not necessarily stronger, but that cocoa chocolatey flavor, that went away. The uh, That nutty flavor turned into more of a nutmeg uh, as opposed to the cinnamon. But that sweetness is still there. Uh, still very rich and earthy, has those Nicaraguan tendencies, that earthy, rich sweetness. Uh, the nutmeg, the black pepper on the finish, about the same as it was in the second portion. So it's, it's, it's just more pronounced in the flavors, not really stronger as far as the strength of the cigar, just a, just a fuller bodied flavor as we went along here. Uh, I'm going to take this band off now. Okay. Basically has the DM signature initials in the center there, and it says Daniel Marshall. That's pretty much it. Red and gold. Simple but elegant band. This is an elegant cigar. It's a good word to describe it. Elegant. Nice medium body. Medium strength. A little bit fuller body toward the end. Uh, nice after dinner cigar. Uh, of course, I'm having coffee with mine. Uh, probably would be good with a nice bourbon or a whiskey of some sort. Um, not to my taste buds, not the most diverse flavor profile, but reminiscent of. Nicaraguan tobaccos, minus the Lajero, not a real strong pepper to it. Uh, sweet, earthy, some baking spice in there, a little nuttiness, a little chocolate. Very nice. <clears throat> I said this was about 860 for this. So, you know, for eight and a half, this is a good cigar 
to spend the evening with. Um, I've been smoking this for an hour and 25 minutes and I still have a good inch probably to go because it hasn't gotten bitter or strong or hot to oops, sorry, to uh, warrant you know putting it down but I think uh, I think we've experienced all the changes we're going to get here uh, so all in all a little like I said a little bit of a wavy burn but not bad it's a good cigar I'd, I'd say uh, probably a 9 out of 10 in my book um, maybe even a 10 if I was looking for something medium body uh, good flavors all the way through not disappointing you know no no heat didn't have to touch it up no resins coming through no residue uh, very well made a lot of tobacco in there good long smoke good cigar um, now I know like I said you can get I think five packs at Cigars International uh, cigar.com has five packs boxes and singles in all the sizes and uh, you know for what I paid for this I'm pretty happy with it um, I'm gonna look around to see if I can find the others the black and the white label don't think I'll be smoking that gold wrapped one anytime soon but I can probably afford the black and the white if I can find them so if I can find them you'll probably be seeing them come up on a review uh, I was looking at uh, Instagram earlier uh, on the uh, Daniel Marshall's Instagram. Uh, it's Steve Harvey, the uh, TV host, comedian, entertainer, uh, got a uh, personalized humidor, and inside <laughs> were some of those gold. They come in a little cedar coffin he <laughs> took the lid off and pops out this golden cigar just incredible but he makes a couple more dollars an hour than I do so uh, he can afford it but I could afford entering that contest so that contest is over but keep your eyes open uh, I would imagine in 2017 there's going to be at least one more contest from Daniel Marshall and believe me it's well worth your while to enter it to take a chance at winning one of those humidors especially if it's loaded with these because uh, I'm hoping I win so anyway <clears throat> I'm really kind of drifting off here uh, <laughs> Daniel Marshall red label good cigar I recommend it if you like a medium cigar very rich and tasty good for after dinner good with a drink check it out so till next time I'm Mike Simmons this is the cigar area and uh, I'm gonna be as politically correct as I can here and say Merry Christmas Happy Hanukkah Happy Kwanzaa Happy Festivus Happy Holidays and happy smoking. <laughs>